The internet is absolutely flooded with AI voice creating apps and voice changing apps and all that kind of stuff. With that being said, I found one that I believe to be the GOAT. It is fire, it sounds terrific. And we're gonna talk a little bit about it, what it can do. Let's get into it. So what we're talking about here is voice AI from Sound ID. So Sound ID is a company that's been around a while. For those of you who aren't aware, they create software that adjusts your speakers and your headphones and calibrates them so they're more true to uh, flat response. So it's pretty cool. Uh, they got some good software, but this is something that I kind of came out of left field with. And I tried it, I downloaded it, and uh, it honestly sounds really good. Like there's a lot of different kind of voice AI deals where you get a lot of artifacts and you can tell it's fake. This one, if done right, is super clean. So I'm gonna show you guys some examples and kind of walk you through what we can do with this and uh, who it might be for and when to use it. So I've created a vocal here. Yo, 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 what up? My name's Bo and I can't sing. So one problem that I've always had being a trap and bass producer is I am a white guy from San Diego and I cannot rap at all. I don't even try anymore. But a lot of the times I need rap verses for like a trap, like hybrid trap kind of track I'm working on. And a lot of the time it's like pulling teeth trying to get a verse from someone. Um, but with stuff like this, it's cool because I can go in there and I can change my voice and make it sound not like my voice, make it sound like something I'm going for and use that. And so uh, I've played with a couple of these, one being Synth GBT, and that one's honestly just trash. It gives you the same results over and over again. This one is is pretty good for that kind of stuff. So here's me. Yo, 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 what up? My name's Bo and I can't sing. So what we do is we put this on a track where we have a vocal and now we have all these different options for how we want to process it and what we want to change it to. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to capture the audio. Yo, 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 what up? My name's Bo and I can't sing. Now that we've captured the audio, we're going to look for a voice or one of these presets that we want to change this to. This is my voice. 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 Let's go with Fiona. That's a pretty dramatic change from where we're starting. So we select whoever we want to use, and then we're going to come up here and hit start processing. And so this is based on a credits kind of system. It seems to me like it's pretty generous. I have tons of tokens and it typically takes a handful to process something. So it's it seems like a pretty um, fair model as far as pricing goes. And I think when you initially buy it, you have quite a few to begin with. So when it processes it, it takes those credits and now we can hear what it sounds like. Yo, 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 what up? My name's Bo and I can't sing. Then we actually have a built-in transposition control up here. So let's say we want to bring her down an octave. Yo, 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 what up? My name's Bo and I can't sing. So honestly, it's pretty few artifacts for pitching down an octave. Like if you were to pitch down an octave in Ableton or with, with a pitching software, it's not going to sound that clean and not that natural. So that's pretty good. And you might be asking, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to take a preset and then pitch it up or down? And I'm going to show you why right now. And this is pretty cool. So for this example, I'm going to use an actual vocal run here. And now for the second two, I'm going to go with a different voice. So I'm going to use uh, Sophia on this one. And I'm going to take the second one and I'm going to move it up a, a fifth. So nine semitones. And then for the last one, I'm going to go ahead and change it to Aisha here. So what we've effectively done here is we've taken four different voicings uh, off one vocal run, and now we have a complete harmony, uh, background vocals or whatever we want to call them. They all sound unique, and they all sound pretty good. I mean, we can come in here and play with the voicings. We can do chord stacks and all that kind of stuff. That's why they give you that transposition control. But one very cool way you can use this is as such. So this is actually where stuff gets starts to get really cool, is not only do they have all the voices you can choose from, so you can change them from um, all those different voices we just saw, but you can actually come over here into creative. And here it gives us some other options. The first couple being kind of voicey, talk box, vocoder ones. This is my voice. Probably 
process it onto our saxophone. So aside from instruments, which is really cool because remember, not only can we input vocals into here, we can actually input other instruments. So we can transpose one instrument to another instrument, but we can also do that with drums. So yes, they do have like audio to MIDI in Ableton, but it just is, it usually doesn't work to be honest. Usually does not work very good. So something like this would be super dope to kind of have in your toolbox. Um, but the beatbox one is also one that impressed me quite a bit. So here we have kind of like, little kind of beatbox someone did. I'm gonna put an instance on it, go to creative, and now we're gonna look for a drum kit we wanna use. So it's one of those ones where there's really not that many controls, there's not that many confusing stuff on the interface. We have the transposition controls and then we have the voicings we wanna select. That is literally pretty much it. And I do enjoy it when uh, plugin manufacturers keep things simple for us. Um, but yeah, to kind of summarize, I have been through like tons of these different AI voice changing things. And I would really have to say this one's probably my favorite so far. And I'm pretty stoked to see what I'm gonna be able to do with this and not have to bring in a vocalist every time I'm working on something. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, I'll link this in the description if you're interested and I'll see you next time.